Now the average case is usually TPU and polycarbonate. The premium cases have three materials, usually TPU, TPE, and polycarbonate. But did you know there's a case that's TPU and glass? It's this one called the Spigen Quartz Hybrid. Now the last time I used a case with glass integrated with TPU was with the Amzer Cresta on the iPhone 6s. Now the glass is the standout feature of this product, but I like it not for the reasons you might think. And you're probably not gonna buy it for this reason. I'll touch on that in a bit. And the questions you probably have with this product is, well, if I was to drop it, this glass back phone case on a bunch of rocks, will it crack? At Mobile Reviews, a mighty and I are crushing the content creation cycle. Everyone's hanging out in quarantine right now, so our plan is to distract you for a few minutes each day. Well, Monty is. I'm assuming I just get lost as background noise as you steer deeply into Monty's eyes. Now, the Quartz Hybrid is a slim case. It's so slim that putting on a screen protector on your iPhone makes the iPhone too thick for the edges of this case. The Quartz Hybrid fits the iPhone like your typical clear case, with certain parts of the iPhone looking kind of wet and sticky. The entire case has a series of micro dots, which is generally used to prevent rainbowing from happening, and the dots even occur on the inside of the glass. Now, in general, the edges of the case are a little too pliable for my liking. The case won't slide around easily on the back as the glass back is raised, but if you've got a screen protector, well, your iPhone is gonna slide around very, very well. Now from a wear and tear perspective, the glass back is gonna be a bit more resistant to scratches, Co keys and coins won't do much, but since it is glass, it may break after a while, and if you've been with this channel long enough, you'll know that stuff that's made out of glass, from my perspective, is a consumable. This is glass, it's gonna break, it's gonna crack. Now fingerprinting doesn't seem as prevalent as normal polycarbonate clear, but there isn't much of an oleophobic coating as the water drops on the back of the case don't kind of pop like it would with a normal screen protector. And because Monty is very, very thorough, the glass has a hardness around six. The TPU on the case helps with the handling of the device despite the back being quite slick. The glass is actually slicker than the usual polycarbonate from my perspective. Now the deal breaker for me and probably for you is that this TPU is a sponge for color. Like this clear case went from being clear to smoky in about a month. So the color change is probably going to depend on what you put on your hands. The last thing of note is that the Quartz Hybrid is a case that's made in China. The majority of speakers cases are actually made in South Korea, so this is kind of an outlier. I'm assuming that there's no factories in South Korea that allow you to fuse TPU and glass. You can only find those in China. Maybe. Which is kind of odd because the Ultra Hybrid, which is basically this version of the case but with a polycarbonate back, is, well, made in South Korea, so they're like exactly the same but just the back's different. So if you're finding these videos entertaining, consider helping the channel out by getting all your day-to-day -day household supplies through my Amazon links. This channel's not sponsored by anybody, uh, so everything that you see here uh, comes out of my own time in my own pockets, like dropping the iPhone. Now I had no issues accessing my iPhone in the case. It's such a thin case that nothing really gets in the way. The feature that kind of stands out for me is that the glass does feel a little cooler than your average polycarbonate case. That's kind of why I like this clear case over something like the Ultra Hybrid. Specifically, if I was to take a gander, I guess, at why the glass feels cooler, I just think the heat transfer is just a little better on the glass than it is on plastic. So when it comes to protection, the Quartz Hybrid provides ultimate everyday protection. Ultimate. Super thin, made with glass, ultimate protection. Do you get the irony there? It's ultimate protection, though it's super thin, it's made with glass and it provides ultimate protection. All those things just don't quite make sense. This case is also mill grade certified and this case also supports reverse charging, which is a highly touted unknown feature of the iPhone 11s. Now that's what Spigen says. I'm sure uh, they just use packaging for everything. Like the sticker, like the product logo is just a sticker. Um, so none of that's actually really true, I don't think. And all I really want to know, and I'm sure all you really want to know, is if I was to drop it, this glass back phone case on a bunch of rocks, will it crack? First drop, nothing. Second drop, there's something. And that was the second drop. Really didn't take much. I don't actually know if I got it in the in the video, but you can definitely tell that the screen or the back glass is completely bjorked. Now you went from a nice looking case to a really ugly looking case. And so with all the things that we're gonna do, we're gonna pick at it and pick at it and see what the deal is. Ooh. 
It sounds so crunchy. There is a covering, so this actually isn't the glass. There's like a thin piece of plastic uh, that goes there, I think. That's kind of neat. It like fits in, it's like a tongue and groove kind of situation there. But like the face, the back is definitely glass. Uh, but towards the inside, there is a covering of some sort. Right, like the glass is breaking on the outside, but on the inside, it's still kind of smooth. So, that's pretty neat. So, that's all I got for this video. First time watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. Gonna be producing content like a madman for the next most likely three months is my best guess. Uh, so do subscribe and click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, which is gonna be around noon my time, I try very hard, been trying very hard to put them on around that time, you'll be notified. So that's kinda all I got. Purple tie Monty. So apparently I haven't been wearing this blue shirt a lot these videos because this is so tight right now. Mostly because it was washed and it's just been hanging there. So a lot of these shirts I just wear for the videos and then I take them off and so they're kind of like loose and comfy. This thing is really constricting my arms. And that's not a humble brag. Extra small gap kids. <laughs> Your iPhone is going to slide around very, very well. Did you hear that crunchy? There's a bit of dust. And that's my screen protector. <laughs> now when it comes to protection, the Quartz Hybrid for its ultimate... So when it comes to protection, the Quartz Hybrid provides ultimate every... So like, I'm going to go outside and do this part of the video. And so I got outside, it was kind of quiet, and I was like, ah... There's some water dripping down everywhere, and so I was like trying to figure out where to go. And then the neighbor lets out the two dogs on that side. The guy behind the alleys decides to start shoveling his gravel, uh, whatever, parkway. Now there's a helicopter, so, you know, I don't miss filming stuff at home. I've been testing winter gloves, touchscreen compatible winter gloves. God. I'm trying to push record. There we go. So I'm done filming. Dogs from the neighbors have gone back in. Helicopter's gone and the guy start, stopped shoveling his gravel pad. So. But Monty's here.